Okay, I was born in a small farming community outside of Pretoria called Bartontain. I went to school at, at Afis, Afrikaans Boys School in Pretoria. When I matriculated, I, I studied at Tikkies. I played professionally at the Bulls during that time for three years. I signed a professional contract to come play at the Shark and moved to Durban, uh, met my wife here. And through that whole period, I, I kept on studying and I kept on um, trying to better myself. After five years playing at the Sharks, I moved to France and I played professionally there in, um, in the French top 14. And in 2012, or 2011, I, I retired from rugby. And uh, the one thing that I did throughout my, my professional playing career is to study. So I studied at Tuckies and then I did my, um, my uh, post grad at Mill Park Business School in financial um, planning and then I did my masters at UCT Business School in Inclusive Innovation and my PhD at UKZN. As a South African based franchise we've got a lot of social responsibility and I think we take it very seriously at, at the Sharks and myself I take it very seriously. We've just recently launched a, a skills incubator, a business skills incubator at the Sharks where we try and give back to small SMEs who who's looking for a launch pad or um, unemployed uh, graduates who are looking for a launch pad to, to launch their career after rugby and I think those are just one of the many um, social projects that we, we've got going at the Sharks and it's, it's something that's very dear to our hearts and dear to my heart, my heart personally. In our industries, so like the, the professional sporting industry has changed significantly but I think if you, if you break down short, medium and long term strategies. I mean short term obviously as a sporting franchise you want to be successful on the field. We are um, starting our first um, season into in Europe where we are actually going to play the best European teams and we want to be successful on there. That's on field. All field obviously we want to navigate COVID-19 successfully as a, as a business. We were very lucky um, through uh, private equity investment that, that we managed to to conclude in um, at the start of 2021 which gave us a, a much needed boost in terms of our financial future. So from that point of view, we're in a good space. But yeah, I, I believe if you want to be significant off the field, you have to have success in it. And I think for our main goal as, as the Sharks, as a sporting franchise, is to be successful on the field, and then we, we can be significant off, uh, off the field. And I think off the field means in the social projects we run, in our development um, uh, programs that, that we roll out throughout our province and, and just everything that we try and do to be relevant in our communities, that uh, can only be significant if we're successful on that. So uh, my background is actually I studied accounting and then as I mentioned I did my post-grad in financial planning. I try and apply a lot of the stuff that I studied in, in, in our organisation. So you know, how do you take transformation in a sporting environment and make it a progressive uh, element rather than a perceived punitive uh, measure. So I think at the Sharks we, we're the most transformed franchise in South Africa. We're successful on the field and we deliver constant uh, players to our national team. So I think that's, that's how we're suc successful. How my studies have changed me, I think I've realized that, that through my, my research at both UCT and UKZN for my PhD, I realized that you don't know what you don't know. And I think as soon as, as soon as we come to grips with the fact that we don't know what we don't know, we, we stay teachable and then we can grow. And I think that's where we have to be in this current space in the world and also as South Africans. You know, we need to know that we've got a, a huge, we've got such potential in this country, but it needs impact. And I think all of us need to have the right mindset to go and affect social change in a way that's uplifting to our communities around us. And to those uh, graduates that uh, the class of 2021 just congratulations because what you've achieved is no mean feat uh, the easiest option would have been to give up to just you know push it over for another year or two years but you guys have pushed through and you can be so um, unbelievably proud of what you've achieved and thank you for for the the, the skill set that you bring into our um, job market you know I think South Africa has got an unbelievable future with all you graduates coming into this market <laughs>